Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today we're diving into a common question that many developers encounter. Why should you include podfile.lock under version control? Let's set the stage. Our viewer has read the CocoaPods guide, but still finds it unclear why committing podfile.lock is necessary, especially when everyone is using the pod install command and all versions are strictly specified in the pod file. They wonder if the lock file is redundant. To illustrate the point, they provide an example involving reactive Swift which depends on the result pod. They believe that as long as they specify the Reactive Swift version in their pod file, they shouldn't need to worry about its dependencies. The viewer outlines a simplified workflow where they develop features, update the pod file directly, and rely on CI to run pod install without ever committing the podfile.lock. This raises the question, is podfile.lock really needed in this scenario? Welcome back to another technical video. Today I'll be going through your questions, answering them and hopefully finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy just like me and hopefully get to that resolution you need. Now, let's get started. Let's explore why including podfile.lock in version control is important, even when using pod install exclusively. When you run pod install, it reads the podfile.lock to determine the exact versions of dependencies to install. This guarantees that everyone on your team is using the same versions. In your scenario, if you only update the pod file without committing the podfile.lock, different team members could end up with different versions of dependencies, leading to potential conflicts. Moreover, if a dependency like Reactive Swift updates its own dependencies, having the podfile.lock ensures that your project remains stable by locking those versions. In summary, committing podfile.lock is crucial for maintaining a stable and consistent development environment, even if you think it's redundant. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Including podfile.lock in version control is crucial because it helps manage changes in your dependencies. Even with semantic versioning, breaking changes can still occur, especially with dependencies in early versions. Without podfile.lock, your application might crash or fail to build when a new developer clones your repository, or when you try to reproduce a bug reported by a customer. Locking dependencies ensures a deterministic build, meaning your project won't be affected by external changes. It's also common to commit installed pods, though opinions vary on whether this is a good practice. And that's it guys. I hope we found the solution you're looking for. And look, if we did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.